Okay guys, in this tutorial, a step-by-step -step guide on how do you fix your Realtek audio driver is not working. If your Realtek audio driver is not working, what you guys gonna do is, is that this basic, give a right click on it, and then you click on a show more options. Somewhere you're gonna find manage, click on it. It will come up with this window. In manage, you're gonna click on device manager, and here it says audio input and output device. Here you have a microphone as well as a speaker. So one by one, you're going to select both. If you have a problem with a speaker or a microphone, you're going to click on uh, properties. And then here you have a driver. So you have a couple of options. Either you're going to update your driver to the latest versions. So updating the drivers might have a uh, might fix your problems. So sometime updating the driver, suppose uh, your driver was working fine and recently you have updated it to the latest person. What you're going to do is roll back the driver. You just have to roll back the driver. Come back to the same place and roll back the driver. Next thing you can do is, so you can do the same things with the speakers. Give a right click, properties, go to the driver either you can update if update has uh, if previously it was working fine and after updating it has an issue you're going to roll back it next thing you can do is give a right click on it you're gonna disable it and enable back again so you'll disable it click on yes to disable and now you'll enable back again uh, same you can do with this also disable or enable back again what you can do is you can scan for the hardware since you can manually update the driver to the latest version. Click on update. When you click on update, you can search automatically for the driver. And it will latest version of update will install. Now you can you can search for the updated drivers in the Windows update. You can do same. You can check for the updates and install all the necessary updates available for your Windows. And then do not forget to restart the PC after installing the newest update. So all these were the different steps you could follow right over here. You can do same with the speakers also along with the microphones. So sometimes doing it for one is okay. If you do it with the microphones, it will be it will apply for the headphones also. If you both are using the same Realtek audio driver, so you can see it's Realtek R, Realtek R audio driver. You do it for headphones, it will the same settings will apply for microphone also because both are using the same inbuilt driver. So if there is an external driver you're using like here you have uh, sound uh, video game control or some external audio driver you're using you can follow the same steps right over here like it's a airport it's external one and you go to the properties and you can give a right click on it and we can go to the properties when you go to the sorry click on properties and we go to properties and driver and you can follow the same steps so if an external driver yeah, if it is other than this uh, Realtek R audio, if it is using, you can manually do the same procedure. Just follow the same steps. Right click properties, disable, enable. And what next thing, what you can do is you can uninstall and install back again. So you do not have to install back again manually. You can just in, uh, restart your PC. It will install automatically. So if you are uninstalling from here, give a right click on it. Realtek R audio. When you click on uninstall this device, here you have an option to check. So if it is checked, you can uncheck the box. Because if you check this box, it will automatically delete the driver software from your PC also. And when you restart your PC, it will not install automatically. So do not check this box. It should be always unchecked. And then click on uninstall. And I'm going to restart your PC. It will be automatically installed. So these were the very uh, different steps you could follow right over here in this device manager in order to fix this issue. Okay, okay, no, I'll close this. What next you can do? You can manually download and install the driver. So let me show you how do you manually download and install the driver. Go to the search and you're gonna type over here. So the my PC is, uh, let's say, Dell G7. Audio TAA driver. D O W M L O A download. Click on enter. So you're going to mention Dell G7 audio driver download. Again, mentions for 
Windows 11. Let's say your PC name is different. You're going to replace this with your PC name or your driver download is same. And you're going to replace this with whether it's a Windows 7, 8, 10, or 11. And then it will take you to the manufacturer site. You can download it from the manufacturer site itself. So you can see it's Dell G7s. It's a 15, uh, 7500 uh, drivers download. So you're going to click on over here, real tech high definition, definition audio driver. You want to select that. So this is latest one, 3 November 2020. It's all going to download it. You can see now it's downloading driver. It's a 525 MB. It's going to take some time and then I'll be guiding you how to install it. So successfully downloaded the driver. So as you can see, here's the drive. You will right click on it and then run as an administrator. Ask you find permission, click on yes, and now you're going to click on install. And then you're going to see this. This window will pop up. Click on next. So it will take some time installing. So you can see, uh, installation is completed. Now click on next, sorry. Uh, okay, click on next. Uh, I want to restart the computer now. So after restarting the computer, yeah, you'll see your driver should be working fine. Now we have successfully downloaded and installed the Realtek driver. So here what you can do in the next is, uh, you'll go to the source and type audio setting, A-U-D-I-O, audio. So man is uh, output uh, sound device. So open that. And here you have, uh, this is sound. So you can find it in settings. You'll come down to this uh, page, sound. Okay, so make sure it is a sound. So this is are the different options over inside system. Uh, sorry guys, I minimize inside systems. Uh, when you go to systems, uh, or you can directly search for sound on a source like app source right now. You will open this page and you will come down and here you have a more sound settings. In this, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, here you're going to select it, Realtek R audio, whether it's a recording or a microphone. Both are using the same R audio. You, uh, if it is any external uh, other uh, audio drivers or a microphone you're using, you're going to select that one. Follow the same procedure, just you have to select. So make sure default, you make the default. Uh, if it is external one, you want to set that one, you're going to make it default for Select that and set as default. After setting that, you're going to select to that one and click on properties. And then here you have advanced options. Make sure this, uh, you're going to select it uh, to the highest uh, possible value and make sure you test it it should be working okay it should be working if it do not work you're going to choose another value so here what you can do is next is uncheck this also and then click and apply and okay it should be working fine if any issue occurs on checking it uh, unchecking it doesn't give you the best performance come back and check it back check it again and again you can apply and click on okay so two things you can do over here so these were the couple of things you could try over here. Now just click on OK. And then I'll close this. What you're going to do is uh, Windows and R. You're going to click on tap Windows key and R together. And here you have services. Now you click on services.msc and then click on OK. It is like S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S, services.msc. It's going to come up with this space. Everything is arranged in alphabetical order. So it'll come down to W. Now here you have somewhere Windows Audio. You're going to find this area of Windows Audio. Here you can do, give a right click on it and give, go to the properties. In properties, so what you're going to do is, uh, this should be automatic. If it is something else, you're going to set to automatic and then click on apply and OK. Next thing is, you're going to select that. You're going to stop the service and start again or you're going to restart the service. So this is another couple of things you could try in order to fix this Realtek R audio issue. So following all these steps will fix your Realtek uh, audio problems. Still you have the issue. Uh, you're gonna, you must have uh, several 
uh, other problems or some other issue might be causing the problems, sometimes the hardware problems. So all these are the possible steps. If it fixes that issue, share this video with your friends and family. It will help them also. And like, subscribe, comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial with another greatest stuff. Have a good day.